What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very simple and very cool looking kind of intro with Final Cut Pro 10. You can't really make like an animated intro. You can use the text effects and everything to create an intro or kind of like an introduction. That's pretty much the same thing, but you will kind of want to make um, you can't really go crazy with the with the um, intro because you're kind of limited to what Final Cut Pro 10 offers you. But I'm going to show you guys how to do this really cool effect. And before I play this video, I did get permission from the author in the uh, in this music video that you're going to see right now. So, um, but I highly, highly suggest you guys watch their music video. It's amazing. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and support them. I'm going to show you guys how to do this effect right here. So let me go ahead and push play. So that's pretty much what I'm going to show you guys how to do. I'm going to show you guys how to do this really cool animated text that kind of zooms into the screen and goes to towards the next uh, text and then it kind of goes and it also goes along with the beat as well. What we're going to go ahead and do is we added the border, okay? And I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. So this is how it is. We're going to go ahead and go onto the effects. So towards the right in the middle of the screen right here, you're going to go onto the effects, okay? And then you want to go ahead and go down to... I believe it's stylize and you want to go down and select simple border right here and it's going to make it kind of like a, a soft white kind of color so click and drag that onto your video from here you're going to go onto the effects browser in your inspector window by clicking this button right there and this will bring up the inspector window along with the effects and everything that you guys can change the video and stuff like that however we're going to go to the effects which is usually at the very top we have the simple border, you guys can check that on and off if you want to enable or disable it. We have the width, so you guys can control the thickness of this if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it how it is, I think it's just where it is. You can, you guys can change the color, so if you click on this little box there, you guys can change the color um, that you want. And you want to kind of increase this a little bit so it gets the full color um, spectrum, I guess. So I'm gonna go kind of like a peach color for this video, something like that. I think that's pretty good. So we have this right here. I know it's kind of girly, of course, you guys can change the colors, but I'm just giving you guys an example of, you know, when it comes to choosing colors, you do want to go ahead and match it with whatever is seen most in the video. In this case, it's her. Anyways, you want to go ahead and where it says mix this is where you guys can um, change the transparency so you guys can kind of see through the video if you keep it at 100 percent it's of a solid color so we're done with the border pretty easy not not hard to do of course go to the titles and generator sidebar so click on that and you're gonna go on to titles you should just click on this one right there i would highly suggest you guys choose the basic title so click and drag that onto your timeline wherever the beat starts so i'm gonna go ahead and push play and i'm gonna pause it wherever uh the first beat happens so <coughs> So right here is where it's going to start. Once you hear the next beat, you want to go ahead and pause it and then cut it. So so right here is where it's going to stop. So I'm going to use the blade tool, B for on the shortcut for the blade tool, click and that will snap it. And you don't need the rest of this. So you can just delete that. We know that the, the beat is synchronized at a specific time. So we don't have to do more cuts. We already know it's going to be the same time. So we're going to go ahead and just copy this and paste it onto the timeline there three times so now if we push play so now it's perfect as you can see so now all we got to do is double click on to the text layer there or just double click on that as well that works too I'm gonna go ahead and change the font because I don't like this font so I'm gonna type in Z dot featuring so just like that make sure you have everything selected and increase the size quite a bit so click here and then click and drag this towards the middle so it should snap if it doesn't snap you don't have your snaps enabled so you want to go into view and snapping should be on or n for the shortcut so once you're done from here you want to go ahead and do the same thing instead of copying everything over again all you have to do is just delete the other ones copy this and paste it two more times so now you can just double click and easily edit it so uh, z featuring and i'm going to type in fetty so we have Fetty. It should be in the middle already, so you don't have to worry about aligning it again. And then I'm going to type in WAP or WAP, however you want to say it. <laughs> it's kind of like um like that other plugin that I told you guys about, the smooth animations. It's kind of like that, but it's built in with Final Cut Pro 10. So, so it's perfect right there. I'm going to cut it a little bit. Eh, I think that's good. 
So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is go on to the transition. So it's right next to the effects browser. Go to movements, go down and select the slide animation, okay? So this is similar to the other plugin that I told you guys about that you guys um, seem to like, but it costs some money, so you guys don't wanna do it. So I, I totally get that, but we're gonna go ahead and use this one. It's very, very similar. So click and drag this onto the, onto the clip there, and it's gonna give you this kind of weird looking thing. But that's okay. That's what it should. That's what it should happen. Um, so click and drag that one more time and drag it onto the next clip. So we have this. Delete the last transition because it's gonna think that we want to transition to another video. So it's just gonna repeat itself and it's gonna look weird. So delete it. And then now if we go ahead and render this out one more time, um, we should get a really nice, solid, smooth transition towards the text. So if we push play, this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and push play. <laughs> So it looks pretty cool. Now, of course, we don't want to do that all over again, of course. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it right where the next beat starts. Let me go ahead and render this out so it plays back smoothly. So Perfect. There we go. So now we can just go ahead and just double click. Uh, if we kind of hover over the transition, kind of zoom in a little bit so you guys can. Because it's kind of hard to select the clip. I don't think you even can do that. So if we just hover over the text when it appears like this, you guys can double click on the text and edit it that way. So we can type in um, official, official, go to the next one towards the end. And then we'll type in music. Of course, this can be anything you guys want to want it to say. It doesn't have to be music videos or anything. You guys can have it to your own beat, your own video. However you guys want to stylize it, that's all up to you. I'm just showing you guys how to do it and you guys can customize it however you want. So official music, video, and uh, if we render this out, this is what it should look like once we have it finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it from the beginning and push play and see our final result. There we go. So that's pretty much a good intro if you were to ask me. I mean, it's very simple, very modern. You guys can customize the video itself. However, we're not going to do that because the video has already been edited. But, you know, for the text and the animations without having to install a plugin is pretty cool. But before you leave, I do want to point, point out something. So if you guys want to change the movement of this, so you guys have this little arrow right here. So if you click and drag this, you guys can actually move this. So you guys can rotate it around. So maybe you guys want it to come up from the top if you guys want that. It's going to look very weird, but you guys can push play. And you guys can do it that way. So you guys can, you know, customize it however you want. So maybe you want it to come down straight. Then the other one will come from the right. And then the other one will come in from the left. So we will have something like this. So now if we push play and we render this out, we can get some variety or variety, I guess, to the clip. So if you push play, look at that. So it's kind of interesting, okay? So you guys can customize this a whole lot. And the smooth transition right there is because we have an S curve. So make sure that the fade in type and the fade out type is an S curve. You can do linear, but it's not gonna be smooth. It's gonna look a little bit weird for the audio and the slide. So make sure that the slide is a slide in or a slide out. Slide push and slide swap will just look weird. So just keep the slide in just how it is. And uh, if you guys stay till the very end of this video, comment down, hashtag Christmas. I love you guys so much. You guys mean the whole world to me. Thank you so much. I cannot stress that enough. Subscribe if you haven't. That makes me very happy. And I will catch you guys on my next video. So until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.